Georgia quarterback Jake Fromm here. And look, Jake, I'm sure you've been asked a million times about Alabama, but we're going to continue that on because your coach Kirby Smart was asked about it earlier today. And he talked about just the motto of do more and how that relates to getting over that hump of beating Alabama. What are your thoughts when it comes to the Crimson Tide? Yeah, uh, great football program. You know, uh, Coach Smart, he came from them. You know, we try to model a lot of things, you know, after them and their program. So, you know, uh, you know, when you play them, obviously you want to go out and you want to compete. Anybody you play, you want to go out and compete and you want to win. And, you know, Coach Smart, you know, he, when he coached against, you know, Coach Saban. And um, people make it a lot bigger deal than it is. You know, it's just it's just a football game. You know, we've been playing a football game since I was seven years old. A lot of, you know, a lot of kids, you, you can go play football games. And for us this off season, not being able to get over the hump, it's like, hey, let's go out. Let's go do more. We've been doing a lot more during the winter, during a lot more during the summer. We're going to continue to do more during camp and can't wait to start the season. Yeah, when you think about do more, a lot of that is on your shoulders and right. specifically with a receiving core that is a little bit younger, especially with some recent departures. What have you been doing on your own time to develop your chemistry with those guys? What does that look like for right. you? We've been getting with the receivers behind closed doors. Like, hey, let's go have some one-on-one -on -one time. Let's get on the board. Let's try to, hey, you know, what route do you have here? Let's get in the playbook, really dive in. Let's get, let's get the signal signals down, you know, make sure, you know, if I need to signal them a signal in a game and practice, you know, we have all that down. And out there on the field during a set, during seven on seven, it's trying to get the, the best reps possible for those guys. You know, those guys need to go out and they need reps. So how can I, you know, get them a ball they need? How can I get them the, the dig route they need, the out route, make sure they're getting that rep and, and doing that. And, and after that, it's, hey, w you know, what are we doing more after that? You know, let's go throw some one-on-ones against the DBs. Let's go get some fade balls. Let's go get some out cuts here, some in cuts, some slants, you know. Whatever it is, you know, we're getting out. We're, we're trying to do as much as we can to get those guys ready. So one of the things that Coach Smart told us earlier today as well is that you are comparable in his mind to Tim Tebow in a lot of ways, but specifically with how you handle defeat and how your leadership continues to grow no matter what comes your way. You've had some low points after some losses during your career, obviously some really high points as well, but what is it about your ability to bounce back that you think helps you on the field? Yeah, I, I think it, it comes down to a lot to my support group. I have a amazing group of people around me, you know, my, my friends, my family, my pastor, uh, my coaches, my teammates, you know, so many different people who help feed into me. And I, I think they, I just kind of, just kind of get on their shoulders and they just kind of help lift me up and, and come out ready to attack and ready to go compete and ready for the next thing. I don't think that it's fair to even look back at, at your career so far and mention the word overlook because you have gotten a lot of love for what you've done, but it does feel like you haven't always gotten the credit that maybe you deserve for what you've done with a Georgia offense that really has had some great playmakers around you. But this year, you're not being overlooked. People are talking about you could be a Heisman contender. People are talking about you being uh, on a team that could be competing for the national championship. How do you handle that a little more of the spotlight on you this season well thank you for the things you just said you know I, I really appreciate that you know but for me it's hey I, I'm gonna go have tunnel vision you know I'm not I'm not gonna listen to the outside noise you know that's that's for a lot of other people to talk about you know that's not what's being talked about you know in in our football building you know for us it's hey I'm gonna go in I'm gonna try to be a better leader this year be a better teammate I'm gonna go serve my teammates you know help them say hey this this is the leader we're really buying into gonna be a good football player you know I, I'm, I'm training I'm doing all these different things and really just preparing for the season and being close-minded about everything else a big part of why people talk about your offense maybe being successful next year has to do with your O-line. And those guys deserve a ton of love and a ton of credit. What are your expectations for them? And also Sam Pittman and what he's done to coach them up? Because I think he may be one of the assistant coaches that does not get anywhere near enough credit right. for what he does Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. I mean, those guys up front, they're just a, a different breed, different animals. I mean, those guys are big, they're strong, they're physical. I mean, I, I don't know how they were created or, you know, I, I mean, just <laughs> unbelievable, you know. And Coach Bibbon, he does a, a great job at recruiting, getting those guys in, and, and really coming in, I mean, on, from the outside looking in, you know, that offensive line room, like that that chemistry, that bond they have, you know, all those guys in that room look up to Coach Pittman, and they love playing for him. And then Coach Pittman, he looks at those guys that he has in that room, he looks at those kids, like as those guys, like his kids. Hmm. You know, he really cares for those guys, and, and that's what I love to see. And Coach Pittman, he's definitely one of the most underrated coaches out there in the country. I love him to death. So thankful he's on, he's on our team and on our staff. And I couldn't ask for anything more. What are your goals for you this year when you look back on this season and say, yep, I had a successful year? Yeah, I mean, for me, as 
all about team goals. And team goals for us right now is, hey, let's go win every single football game we play in. Let's go have a great camp and let the rest take care of itself. Thanks so much. Jeff yeah, Rob. thank you for having me. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.